Ah, another beautiful day at the small little stream. And what do we have joining us? We have a 15 card booster pack of Return to Ravnica. Very cool, very cool. So, now let's get into the pack. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. It's uh, a little bit later out. Uh, maybe I'll do a night shoot one time of one of the new sets. Interesting. Return to Ravnica. Interesting. Looks like he's got some crazy armor on. His head's not very protected. And uh, what year did this come out? Just curious. Curious, curious. I'm going to say 2012. Alright, so a little bit ago. Let's go ahead and crack this and see if we get anything cool. Alright, alright. First card right off the bat is a giant growth. I know this card. Very cool picture. Um, one green. You can tell something just turned monstrous and is kind of shocking the people as it just happened to look like all of a sudden. Uh, she looks a little startled. So he's like standing scared. I'm not sure. She's in the shadow. Just tell some like giant furry creature maybe. Or just man. Just got strength. Uh, target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. It's an instant. And um, it is by uh, Noah Bradley. Very cool. Very cool art, too. Definitely depicts it very well. I have a traitorous instinct. Three and a red. Looks like she is. I'm not quite sure. She's got rage under her skin and she's emitting some sort of red aura or something and she's about to swing I'm not sure what it is they don't show maybe an axe or something she doesn't look very happy interesting facial features uh sorcery gain control of target creature there we go yeah so she's like under control and can attack you untap it this creature until end of turn it gets plus two plus zero and gains haste so you get to untap a creature um or gain control of target creature your opponent controls or really whatever and um untap it it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn and haste so it can attack right away or yeah it can attack right away and it's just drawn by darken very beautiful very cool love the balance too very focused on her then you kind of just see see a nice it has a nice balance with the white and the red going through it i like it i do I got a card called Root Porn Defense 2 and a white. Looks like he is definitely a defense guy. Looks like he's carrying around roots or something with metal on it. I'm very interesting. Very intrigued to see how his feet move. Instant. It's an instant uh, populate. Creatures you control are indestructible this turn. To populate, put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of a creature token you control. Damage and effects that say destroy, don't destroy, and dis don't destroy indestructible creatures. Cre oh, that's pretty cool. For uh, three, uh, two, and uh, white, you get to uh, put a token of a creature on the battlefield. That's a copy of a creature you control. And uh, then all your creatures get indestructible. Very cool. Cool art, too. Love it. Very nice. Very centralized. Cool background. Definitely has some good depth to it. Interesting, like, metalwork on the actual branches or roots or whatever. Interesting background. Looks like some overtaken place by the forest or something. Beautiful, and it's drawn by Mark Zerg. Pretty cool. Looks like I got a dispel. Just a boom, counter target, instant spell. That's what he's doing. He's just taking that uh, fire bowl or something and just turning it into bubbles. Just like it's nothing. Very cool. Very uh, attracted to this at first. Then you kind of see he's deflecting it. Then you realize that uh, he's actually just stopping it. Yeah, very interesting armor. Almost reminds me of like crab. Cra or crab legs or something. Interesting there. Not got a mosquito jumping on me. This is just a dispel. One blue. Very cool art. Dis this picks it perfectly. Instant counter target instant spell. Civilization will submise unless us unless we overwhelming overwhelm it's instead <laughs> okay and that uh this is drawn by chase stone very cool and a uh, very good card too for countering instance looks like i got a multicolored creature a very interesting 
centaur. It's got like multiple legs, it looks like. I'm not sure, maybe two extras, or I'm not sure. Holding like a potion bottle, maybe about to drop it off the cliff. But a very interesting stick that is very cool. I wonder how that was grown. And uh, it looks like he's in some sort of weird, strange fabric. I don't even know, or is that just stone? I have no idea where he is. Uh, centaur healer, so that's probably a healing potion. One, a green, and a white. Creature centaur clerk. When centaur healer enters the battlefield, you gain three life. And it's a three, three creature for uh, three cost, so it's pretty good. And you also gain three life. Very cool. Awesome centaur. And that is drawn by Mark Zerg. You might have said that, I'm not sure. Looks like I have a black and a green, a grizzly salvage. Really like the green theme color to this picture. Um, I like it. Just shooting away mosquitoes. Looks like uh, he's sorting through this mess of an urn or something to get uh, whatever he wants. Looks like he's a uh, grave robber kind of. Maybe he's in the crypts or something. I don't know. He's just found this body decaying and he's going through it. He's got a backpack full of weapons and stuff and his hood on and he's probably ready to go at any moment. Very beautiful art. Uh, first you notice him, then you notice what he's working on, and it's a disgusting body, then you kind of take in the background. Interesting slope there, love that uh, um, support beam, how it kind of like goes in like that, very cool. And uh, that over there, I'm not sure if that's like a coffin or just broken down city. It's an instant, reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature card or land card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. This is by David Kendall. So you get a look at the top five cards of your library, and uh, you pick a creature or a land, and if not, into your graveyard they go. So it might be good if you want a graveyard deck, or um, a deck that is heavy on your graveyard, or if you just need a good creature or a land. Looks like I got a Splatter Thug. A Splatter Thug, two and a red, very centralized. Uh, got these kind of uh, giving it a little bit of uh, uh, siding, I guess. Uh, got some brickwork in the background. He's like in a city with some crazy chains with like knives on them. Is he pulling? I'm not even sure what he's pulling. And he's got some crazy weapon. Like, looks like he got a, a flag caught up in it. I don't even think those are his colors. He just doesn't care. He's raged. A splatter thug. Creature, human, warrior. First strike. The 2 2 and has unleash. You may have this creature enter the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a 1 1 counter. So it has first strike no matter what, but if you want it to be able to block, it comes in as a 2 2 and it's a 2 and a red, so it's a 3 cost, or it can come in as a 3 3 with uh, first strike, but it can't block. So it's up to you. But still very cool. Very cool indeed. Next card I got is uh, Centaur's Herald. It looks like. Uh, Look how tall the center is to that child in the background. Well, I'm drawn to the her first. It's one green. And then I see this brightness over here. Very like that. You see some people over there in the background. Looks like she's doing some magic or something. Or maybe dancing. Uh, very interesting stance. You see a centaur in the background peeking in. He's kind of interested. People over here in the foreground. Interesting too. Very beautiful art. Many layers. You got this up front. This. You got the people in the back. You got the guy standing there, you got the child, the centaur, very cool, indoors, very, very beautiful art. This is by Howard Lyon, beautiful. And it's an elf scout, creature elf scout, two and a green sacrifice centaur hero to put a 3-3 three, three green centaur creature token onto the battlefield. And it's a 0-1 for one cost. So it's a blocker, pretty much, uh, unless you can boost it, or and then later you can sack it and he'll come out and uh, fight for her. Very cool. Love this uh, art on this card. Destroyed the evidence. Looks like she did something bad to that place. She's about to set off a bomb on it or some sort of black mist that will just eat it all up. Very well balanced. Uh, pretty dark over here. You noticed, uh, I kind of noticed her first and then you, she's walking away. Little magic rubbing off on her and then you see just this building being destroyed and you can hear some airplane overhead probably. It is a four and a black. It is drawn by Clint Cirilli. Uh, very cool. Really like the art on it. Beautiful. Poor building is about to be destroyed. It's a sorcery. Destroy target land, of course. 
if it's control its controller uh, reveals cards from the top of his/her library until he or she reveals a land card. Then put those cards into a graveyard. So that's kind of cool. You destroy a land, uh, any land, and then they get to keep uh, revealing cards from uh, the top of their library. And hopefully they don't hit a land, and maybe you'll win from that. Or um, you can make them throw away a bunch of cards, at least one. Very cool. We got a crazy tower drake, two and a blue. It looks like it's a cyclops. It's got one eye. I'm not even sure if that's it or it's just like rocking those gems. Very crazy. Nice cityscape in the background. The first thing I noticed is definitely these, these gems. And then I noticed they're on this crazy beast. All these like spikes and points. Kind of like how it's a little bit uh, on an angle of the picture. Love it. It's got some gnarly looking teeth. Wonder how it closes its mouth well. Well, it is open. It's got like armor on so someone own controls it probably two and a blue creature drake flying and it's a two one and it has a uh, white tower drake gets uh, plus zero plus one until end of turn ryan barger so if you are playing this with a blue and white deck if you can keep paying one make it get more defense and survive the attack very cool on to the uncommons the first uncommon i got is a uh, recourse fury very interesting picture i love this it looks like a bull the first thing I see is uh, the bull right here. It's one red, a bull, and it looks like there's maybe dogs chasing it, and I'm not sure what that is. There's some creatures or something all like trying to get this bull. I'm not sure. It's almost like in a coliseum setting. I don't know, like bullfights or something. I don't know. Very interesting. Very beautiful, though. Very, it's very nice, very well uh, balanced. Got very heavy. Those add up to that. And uh, I like that it's on an angle. This art is done by Sam Burley. It's an enchantment or enchant land. Enchant land has target creature gains haste until end of turn. So you can have a land that pretty much gives any creature haste you want. Uh, if you don't have it. Very cool, very cool. Looks like I got some crazy scepter. It looks almost like a bird. Very cool. Three stones on it. Interesting wings. Looks like it's missing a gem, or that's just the way it works. Interesting face, very beautiful. Uh, Azorius uh, Key Rune. So it's a key. Uh, three generic artifact. Tap, add blue or white to your mana pool. Uh, blue or white, Arzon, uh, Azorius Key Rune becomes a 2 2 white uh, blue bird artifact creature with flying until end of turn. So, it can be used, these are kind of cool, for 3, you put it down, it can either be tapped for mana, blue or uh, white, or if you pay a blue or white, it becomes a 2-2 two -two bird artifact creature with flying until end of turn, just in case you need that. Uh, the next uncommon I got is Street Sweeper, this reminds me of that Ruby Robots with uh, Robin Williams, respect. Uh, 6 uh, generic cost, it's a big boy, so it looks like it's just going around sweeping the streets pretty much. And I guess it'd have to be looking pretty bad to be in the magic world. But look at that. Very nice art. Looks like it's got a little bit of light. Probably crazy sensors. Got big brush up there. Bigger brush up there too. Nah, it's a crazy machine. Very cool. Really like this art. Just mechanical and very cool. It's by Izzy. Respect. Like it a lot. Artifact creature construct. Uh, whenever street sweeper attacks, destroy all auras attached to target land. It's a 4-6. So... There's a bunch of lands that have auras on it, or you want to get rid of, boom, yeah, it gets rid of them for you. Very cool, and I really like the art. And uh, the rare I got is a Mana Bloom. Very interesting fungus looking creature, X and a green. Uh, it's very centralized. Uh, there are three little kind of pillars in the background with little white speckles going through it. I like that very cool you can see some kind of plants but then you really notice this one plant that almost looks like hands and toadstools and mushrooms or something just growing it looks beautiful x and a green this is drawn by mike uh Bikrin, and it's an enchantment mana bloom enters the battlefield with x charge counters on it so you pay x and a green three and a green would be uh three charge counters four and a green four counters one and a green one charge counter etc remove a charge counter from mana bloom add one mana of any color to your mana pool activate this ability only once each turn at the beginning of your upkeep if mana bloom uh has no counters uh no charge counters on it return it to its owner's hand interesting so it doesn't die when its counters go out 
uh, you can put it back out and kind of keep pumping mana if you're low for it and uh, it will just go back to your hand very cool like that and I also got a lovely advertisement in a swamp beautiful pack it's getting a little bit dark out but that's okay I wonder if this will show up at all barely oh well Oh, be a bit for the other video. Just a little fun with the green laser. Alright guys, hope you're having a wonderful day and take it easy.